Warning, this video contains scenes of animals being dispatched in the UK using legal limit air rifles. Do not watch if you may be offended. Go and watch Charlie bit my finger instead. Good evening. Hope everybody's all right. Apologies for it being such a long time I've been on. Had a few things to sort out. Took a bit of a break away from things. Um, but now hopefully I'm back. Uh, back out of my rabbit permission for the first time since around April, May I think it is. Uh, couldn't get on here due to COVID rules, etc. Um, but now I'm back. Uh, loads of rabbits about. They've dug the place to hell. Um, so hopefully start thinning them out. It's uh, October, so it's a good time. A lot of the young ones are nearly fully grown. We've had a good summer munching on the grass. So this should be nice for the pot and also to stop the damage. So uh, hopefully I'll bag a few. Tonight I'm using the Airwolf um, MCT 177 with the Pard 007 and uh, Hawk Air Max Compact Scope. This is the same Airwolf I had before, but I've, I've uh, bought a walnut stock from Daystate and I fitted a Best Fittings carbon bottle to it. Um, 500 cc instead of the 400 from before. Uh, so I hope get a few more shots out of it and just lighten the gun up a tad. Okay, so I'm using the Mako slugs again because uh, they're the most accurate in this gun and they really do land with the thump. Uh, well worth the extra money, I think, if you're only just taking a few rabbits. <clears throat> Obviously not for tin cans in the back garden, but uh, that's something I don't do. So this gun seems very, very accurate with them, like one hole at 40 yards. Um, they've got, and as I say, I've seen the ballistics, have got lots of stopping power. They do flatten ridiculously because they're very, very hollow. So uh, if you've not tried them, give them a try, especially good in day states. Um, Air Arms guns and the Virarchs, amongst others. Um, so, right, better crack on. Okay, see how we get on. Beat you soon. I just thought I'd show you a quick uh, video of what I took when I first got there just to show you the kind of damage that they've been doing. I uh, really dug it to bits. Quite dangerous um, if anybody's walking around or there's any horses or anything. Obviously that's why they have to be eliminated. Okay, so the first one comes out to my right when I was looking at the two warrens I've just shown you on the on the previous bit. So I'm having to twist round on myself and then completely misjudge the distance. The gun zeroed at 40 yards, not 30. So 30 yards is one mil dot over. So that uh, slug sails cleanly over his head. So now I'm uh, just trying to switch it to night mode whilst calmly and coolly hoping the rabbit doesn't see me moving around while I'm twisted over and round and back on myself. So just sped that bit up for you. So there we are, we're back. And I load another slug and then forgot to close the bolt. So now I'm just getting myself right. So now I remember that it's 30 yards away, so it needs to be one mil dot hold under. Get it in focus, get itself lined up. Realize my battery's already running low. Take the shot, nothing happens because the uh, bolt isn't closed. So third time lucky, load another slug. Speed this next bit up while I'm trying to untwist my spine whilst loading a slug, whilst dropping some in the grass, whilst trying not to make any noise. And then finally get myself settled and set up properly. And third time lucky, I close the bolt, get the hold under correctly judged. And then there you go. And you can manage to get everything sorted out. It's actually not too hard, is it? <laughs> Bit rusty. Got there in the end though. So that's one down. Next one is 
behind me so I've had to spin round on myself again but it's dark now so it's not too bad pull it into focus and 40 yards which is the zero with a gun and it's a nice easy kill it's just point and click with this thing at 40 yards it's unbelievable really I'll turn myself back around again and I just happened to notice two eyes now hopefully that's two different rabbits and not one eight foot tall one I sit waiting for them for a while and eventually one of them comes out to the left on the other side of a gate but I've got the key to that gate so it's just a matter of uh, threading it through a hole in the gate which is easily done that's the third one in the bag it's not doing not doing bad at all I've only been there about an hour but they're just coming out all over the place in fact I noticed when I left actually they're everywhere so uh, should be a good few productive sessions over the next few months into winter so I'm just panning now wondering about those see if that one's going to come out um, obviously that he was the one on the left the one on the right obviously this guy's a bit older and wiser and probably just nudged his mate to go out and have a quick look make sure everything's all right and when he didn't come back he stayed where he was clever bunny next one's behind me Obviously I don't notice the fact that he's probably 10 yards closer to me than the 40 yard fence line. So once again, the slug goes sailing over his head. And now he's ran up to the fence line, which is 40 yards away. Which is a nice distance for me. So it's cross hairs on the head. And just about to pull the trigger and in he goes. So... You'll have to wait for a bit longer. And then behind me again, one of them's popped out of the little burrows that I was looking at originally. And and it is only about 18 yards away. There's just a young one, this one. But they all count. So down he goes. Now I've got one in my sights. Who's... Uh, not not wanting to uh, stand up give me a decent shot but I think I can just about thread it in above there squeaking away and he's not listening not interested at all probably just wants to keep his head down and just not make himself too obvious can probably hear something or make out something about me being there but I can't quite understand what it is so he's had plenty of chance so let's squeeze one in and down he goes. You're not going to stand up, I'm going to take the shot. No more yet. And then one pops out and then goes around the other side of the fence. I don't want to take a shot through the fence because it means about a mile walk round to get through and get around the other side. So I'm patiently waiting, I'll just speed this bit up now. And this is me watching him through the uh, through the fence, waiting for him to duck back under. A lot of those warrens link one side of the fence to the other. So I'm just hoping that at one point it'll come back through. So here's me tracking him, tracking him, and he's having a, a bit of a nibble and then another wander. Quick look, can I hear something? I'm sure I can. No. Bit of housekeeping, a little dig. They're tidying up. A bit of wombling, cleaning up the litter. Come on, I ain't got all night. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. Eventually, he decided to uh, come round to my side of thinking and my side of the fence. 
So a little bit of squeaking. Don't take any blind bit of notice. Come on. Just praying it didn't go underground now. Just need to see that temple. Trying to squeak him up, but he's not having it. That's more like it. And there we go. Patience pays off. Eventually. Okay, the last one of the night. Forty yards. Miss. It wasn't at forty yards, it was about thirty five yards. Now it's at forty yards. Come on. Now where's he gone? Oh, there we are. That's it. That's more like it. Right. It's gone so silent. It virtually can't hear anything at that distance. There's no wind at all that night, but they just could not hear me squeaking. No matter how much I did it, they just weren't interested. There we go. It's more like it. Not a bad little haul for the evening. I was only there about three hours. So, because I had to get up for work the next morning early. But it's nice now because the nights are getting uh, darker earlier. You can get out and get back in again. Instead of coming in at 3am. Works quite well. Okay. They don't go to waste. Nice boulder rabbit stew there. I took four of them to my brother Alan. He did the necessary. He had two, I had two. One in the pot, one in the freezer. Nice bowl of rabbit stew. Can't beat it. Right, if you like that, subscribe and share. And until next time, take care and see you soon. Bye for now.